And uh, pretty much to the youth, man, what I'm going to just talk about uh, is really just taking advantage of opportunities. Regardless how big the opportunity may be or regardless how small it is, just know to take advantage of that opportunity because one day them opportunities will run out. Yeah. A brief breakdown on me. Uh, we grew up down Lower Third near Peabody, um, the Food Mart area, mm -hmm. single parent home. Um, yeah. Went to Peabody, mm -hmm. went to a swag school, All Corn State. Right there, that was adversity. <coughs> Right there in my face, but it was, at the same time, it was an opportunity. You see what I'm saying? They were to say he graduated Amen. from Peabody with it being predominantly black. But that was a free education, which also got me to all corn. Amen. I wasn't able to go to no USC, Georgia State, these big schools, but I was able to get a degree. with the Alcorn State, what's the chances of this kid that grew up in Lower Third, graduated from Peabody, attended Alcorn State, getting to the NFL? Well, the NFL wasn't in the picture when I finished college. Um, due to statistics and everything else, you know what I'm saying, that comes with that. I was overlooked, a small player at a small school, but um, I was able to go up to Canada to the CFL and play two years up there. So um, after those two years of playing in 2009, 2010, this past January on the 22nd, what I can say a dream came true. I signed for the Minnesota Vikings. <laughs> and just, another thing is just being respectful. Like, you know, the biggest problem with our kids today is ain't they not smart enough or this or that or where they come from is attitudes and they mouth. <laughs> Saying that these people that's mentoring you that's over is also somebody parent. So I'm walking in and tell Brother King right here, shut up, his son in the back thinking, how you gonna talk to my dad like that? But that's equivalent to you talking to a teacher or talking back to somebody that's disciplined you. So it's just about being respectful, man. Make the most of your opportunities. Everybody say, when I grow up, I'm gonna leave Alexandria. When I grow up, I'm gonna leave Louisiana. Man, I'd have been in Canada, Washington, everywhere. Every spot has its who is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So there's really no reason to try to praise all these other states. And yes, that. Okay, it's good to move on because there's better opportunities wherever you may be. But just don't, yeah. everything's not just peaches and cream on the other side. Like, you think it's peaches and cream. And you look around at all the little spots these disasters hit. Well, I'm kind of glad I'm from Alexandria. <laughs> And I'm thankful for everything, because that's really what got me where I was at. Opportunity, just hard work. Just work hard. You're going you're gonna to have them little times you're going to want to give up. There's plenty of times I wanted to give up and say this ain't for me. I done, I done signed up the Vikings, and they made it to camp yet due to a lockout. Yeah. So you look at like, man, so you were so hard, brother, my friends. Yes, right. 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 I just pray everyone because it's a blessing to be up here, but to the kids that just revival, man, if you take anything from it tonight, just know to take advantage of the opportunities because one day they'll run out. Amen. 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 Amen.